Hello everybody, a few people asked for a tutorial on my Arduino light gun for Windows, so here it is. It will work with almost any game, not just your own Unity games. I'm gonna be using an Arduino Uno, but any Arduino will work. The components that we need are the following. An Arduino Uno, MBU6050, a Wii gun, a small breadboard, electrical tape, a tact switch, a micro switch and some jumper wires. First of all, we need to connect the wires to the micro switch. We are going to connect the common terminal of the switch to a ground pin on our Arduino, that's our grey wire. Then we will connect the NO, also known as normally open pin, to pin number 3 on the Arduino, that's our blue wire. We need some electrical tape to secure everything in place. You could also solder the wires if you want to do that. Luckily, the opening on the Wigan has a perfect size in which the micro switch will fit correctly. We need some tape here as well. Make sure that we can click the switch by pulling the wig and trigger. You should be able to hear the clicky sound of the switch. We now need to connect the rest of the wires. I did that prior to everything else, but you can do it now. It doesn't really matter. Here are the schematics. Also, there is a link for a higher quality image in the description. Secure everything with some electrical tape. The wig gun can also hold the wire in its openings so they are not in your way. It's a nice feature. Connect the Arduino and check that all the LEDs are working. We are done with the hardware. Now let's get to the real coding. First, let's start the Arduino IDE. You can download the code from the link in the description. It's just a modified code of the example script of the MPU6050. Firstly, we need to include the libraries that we are going to need for the script to work. I'm using the MPU's output readable yo pitch roll because after various tests I came to the conclusion that this is the best and most stable and easy to read inside of Unity to make the appropriate calculations. We begin our serial communication by using a baud rate of 115200. Other rates should work as well, but make sure that you are going to use the same one once we make our unit script. After all the initialization is done, we set our pins to input pull-up in order to turn on the internal pull-up resistor. If we don't do that, the values might float from 0 to 1 randomly, and it will not give us the correct results. In the main loop, we are going to take the gyroscope values and print them in the serial, so we can read them later through Unity. We are first printing all the gyroscope values, x, y, z, and then our button states. We separate the values with a space, because that way it's gonna be easier to split them in Unity. That's all the basic stuff. Hit the upload button and wait for it to end. Let's test it, by clicking on Tools and Serial Monitor. It should show the gyroscope values and the button states. Try clicking a few buttons and rotating the Wigan to see if everything works correctly. We are now done with the Arduino. Let's move to Unity.